Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be talking about sessions inside, inside PHP. Now you've probably already heard of cookies and sessions are quite similar in the sense that they store information about the user that's currently visiting your website. So we're going to be storing a piece of information, uh, it might not just be about them but it will be a value that um, is either relative to them or they've entered. So why do we store sessions and why do we store cookies? Now there's another video tutorial on cookies um, but in each video I'm going to explain the main differences between them and what should be used when for mainly security purposes. Now sessions um, are stored on the server so they're hidden uh, from the user. Uh, uh, we don't have an easy ability uh, to uh, change sessions. So let's just say we had um, a table for example in which user data was stored and one of the fields in this table was ID, one of the fields was let's say the name and one of the fields was let's just say some private data. Now I'm going to assign um, the ID of one to say the user Alex um, and some private data will go here. Now if we had an ID of two with the username let's say Billy and we had some private data here. If I was using uh, cookies, for example, um, and I was storing the value of one in cookies, when we go to read that cookie in, uh, I'm freely um, able to change the value. So I could change the ID that the current cookie, uh, down here, at the moment it might be one. Now let's say I wanted to act as if I was Billy, I could change that to two. Therefore, all my code will be updated to give me information about Billy. So if that doesn't make sense, it will make sense on later examples. But for now, you need to understand that with sessions, they're a lot more secure. Things like shopping carts, user login systems, they tend to be a lot better. But what we can do is then use cookies uh, to you know, remember and we can use secure cookies as well, we can encrypt things. So just for now, sessions, if you're using them alone, they're a lot easier and they're quicker. Um, now what what do we do to create a cookie? I mean in this example I'm going to show you how to set a cookie and then how to view a cookie that's already been set. Uh, and we can also check if, uh, sorry, a session, if a session has been uh, set and then we can view it. So we can also check if a uh, session has been set before we uh, do it. Uh, view it. So the first thing we need to do is type session start at the top of our page before we do anything with session data. So if you were declaring session data, uh, let's say up here, then this would not work because you need to uh, have session start before you start to do anything with sessions. Now to set a session, um, you've seen examples such as dollar underscore post and dollar dollar underscore get. Um, and it, this, this works in exactly the same way. What we do is we say dollar underscore session. We have two um, square brackets. We have the variable name. So let's just say we want to call our session um, name. Now what we do is we set this relative to um, a piece of information. So um, I'm going to say name equals Alex. So this is now a session name. Now this variable exists only on this page now however it's being stored now as a session so therefore this should be accessible by any page in our website at any time even if we don't declare it so what I've done is essentially started uh, the use of sessions then I've set a session called name equal to Alex now that's on set.php so let's just go over to um, to this uh, session folder here and we click on set. Now what's happened now is we've executed or run run this code and session has been set and this set this particular session has been set with the value Alex so what happens on view.php when we want to um, return this data to the user now usually you would have to include this file inside this file so include set.php when we're working with variables however because this is session data and it's stored on the server about us now we're, we're, we're viewing this now you don't need to so session start make sure you include that in even when you're reading back variables session start then we can simply echo dollar underscore session name 
And what this is going to do, it's going to take this stored variable inside this session called name, and it's just going to display it to us in the view um, in the view.php file. So we're on set now. We've already set that variable. So let's go back and click on view, and you can see that it's shown Alex. Now, you may be asking, why is this useful? How is this useful? Well, it's useful for things like user logging in. Um, for example, if a user was to log in, you want to remain uh, or want to keep them logged in throughout while the time they're browsing your website. So this is a way to store a session uh, and show that they're logged in. So let's just say we change this to user name equals and then Alex in lowercase. Okay, so we have uh, started our session up here and we've set our session in this file here. Now let's just say this was a login page. We've logged the user in um, successfully. Um, there would obviously be other code. But now in view.php, I want this file to be something that you have to be logged into view. So I can just start up an if statement and say if is set dollar underscore session at username. And I can say if it is set, we can do something in here meaning they're logged in because the session has been set otherwise echo please log in now here I can say echo welcome then what I can do is I can maybe do a comma then concatenate on dollar underscore session username you could store this in a variable um, here if you wanted to make it a lot easier to use later on but just for now I'm going to show you it this way so you can understand so at the moment we don't have a session variable called username set so if we go to this view.php page and refresh you can see it says please log in now if we go back to um, our other file set.php what we've done now is we've set our username um, session data and that's equal to Alex so the result we should achieve when we go on view.php is that we check if the session exists and it does so we're going to echo welcome comma and then the user's name so if we click on view you can see that that's exactly what we get and it says welcome Alex so you can see now how simple it is in actual fact to create some kind of login and register system um, obviously these are the very um, or these are just a minor part of the registration and login system uh, itself however uh, later on Things like that are a lot easier to pick up when you have these types of fundamentals. So that's uh, sessions in PHP.